Welcome back to Lightning GIS. In this short episode, we're going to go through um, the process of gradual selection for reprojection error in Agisoft Metashape. Uh, Metashape's a photogrammetry program that can take um, two-dimensional still pictures that overlap across an area and turn it into a three-dimensional model of the area. Um, reprojection error is the third gradual selection process that is normally run in the course of processing a photogrammetry data set in Metashape. Um, the purpose of gradual selection, inc including the reprojection error process, is to get rid of noisy and bad data within your sparse cloud. Doing so will result in a much better final product that's more accurate and precise. Um, so it's important that you do this. Now, reprojection error is um, run by doing, going to the model menu, choosing gradual selection. Under the gradual selection dialog, we'll choose reprojection error. Um, now, I've already run this one time, and it's an iterative process, and you need to go through it several times to get to the final threshold. You'll see in my model that I have 57,610 points. Right now, one is selected. I'm not even sure why that is. Um, but the goal here is to get this number of 0.54 down to 0.3. Now, you may start at a different number. I'm at 0.54 right now. So when I choose 0.3, you'll see that that selects 14,494 points. Now, we never want to take more than 10% of the total points in any one uh, reprojection error step. So 14,000 is more like about 15% of the points, maybe even 30% uh, of the points, I guess. So we don't want to take that many. So I'm going to move the slider, looking for a number that's less than 5,700, which is roughly 10%. So here, I'm uh, selected 5,600 points. Um, that's okay, it's less than 10%. And I'm going to take a quick look. Um, you can see that the pink points that are selected are pretty well distributed across my model. This is the uh, berm for an earthen dam. Uh, a lot of pink points are up here on the lake itself. That's because along the lake shore, there's a lot of woody debris that had uh, gotten piled up by the wind and currents right along the edge of the lake. Now, it makes sense that we have a lot more pink points selected up here. Um, that represents that there's a lot of erroneous points up here. Uh, you know, that woody debris is probably moving around in between individual pictures being snapped as the drone flew back and forth across the area. So we would expect more air there. Otherwise, I'm just happy to see that these points are homogeneously distributed across my site. I wouldn't want all my points uh, selected from one area. If, if that does happen, that means you have a problem in that part of the model and uh, you may need to do some other steps to fix that. But I've got a good homogeneous distribution of my air, so I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click the Delete button. That deleted all those points. You see that I'm left with 51,948. Now I run the Optimize tool. For gradual selection, um, I've got all the different uh, parameters uh, checked here. Uh, the optimization routine will take a few seconds and what's happening here is it, the software is um, tweaking all the camera alignments, all the alignments of the individual photos to improve them um, now that those erroneous points have been thrown out. All right, let's run the next reprojection error. All right, so here you can see I'm going to just type point three and see where that leaves me. Um, that leaves me at about 8,700 out of 52,000 selected, so that's a little too high. So I'm going to lower that down. Looks like there I'm at about just under 5,000. That's close enough to 10%. I hit OK. Hit Delete to get rid of those points. Optimize again. It's good to hit Save once in a while in the process here. Do the model menu, gradual selection, reprojection error. So we're at with three. So when I take it down to our goal, which is 0 0.3, this time I only have 3,800 out of just under 47,000 selected. So that's less than 10%. So I can take all of those. I'll hit OK, hit delete. 
optimize again. All right, and then you need to check it one more time. Gradual selection, reprojection error, um, move this to zero. Uh, 268 points were selected, so I'll go ahead and get rid of those. Optimize one more time. All right, and then let's just check. Hopefully this is the last time. Looks good so far. Um, okay, so now I've only got 68 selected out of 43,000. If you're a perfectionist, what you want is you want to be able to get down to this threshold and not select any points. Um, I'm not worried. I think this is close enough. So um, I'm going to call it good and just hit cancel. Um, save my model. And I'm done with this reprojection, uh, reprojection error gradual selection process. Thank you for joining me once again on Lightning GIS. Uh, check out our YouTube video to find other helpful GIS-related tutorials. Thank you.